Well, Danny August from Steel Rubber Products is in the shop with me today. How you doing, Danny? Good. How you doing? Uh, we're gonna do how to today, right? Yes. How to demo. I love this. Um, you guys not only not only uh, make rubber products for virtually everything out there, but you can help me uh, learn how to actually uh, uh, install that stuff properly. That's right. So one of the questions we get all the time is how to glue weather stripping. It's it's it is one of the hardest things to do whenever it comes to installing. Um, but you so, wouldn't necessarily think so. You're going to slap on some glue, you're going to stick the rubber st weather stripping in, bada boom, bada bing. And then you sit there saying, I did something Something's wrong. Something's not right here. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to show you the, the, the different ways of doing it and uh, kind of what most people do versus the, the real technique for how it's supposed to be done. This is how a lot of people glue. Uh, and it makes sense, but they put a bead right down on the on the metal yeah, yeah. and they will put the weather stripping like I'd probably even put more on because I'm, I'm kind of you more has got to be better right yeah and uh, uh, uh. and it you can see how it kind of wiggles around uh, but, but we'll let that sit so the way we recommend is a very very thin bead I mean you can oh, man, see the difference yeah that's like a third of what you put down before we will spread it out with a popsicle stick and oh, just, so, so just you're gonna get like some surface area on it. Make kind of a thin film, actually. That's right. Okay. And then we'll let that tack up for a minute. And then we'll come back and actually put some on the weather strip itself. Again, a very thin bead. Less is more. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That, that might be the, uh, the, the catchphrase for this whole thing, eh? And will you do the same thing? Will you, will you will you get a thin film going there? That's right. You spread it out. It's it's kind of like, you know, you don't want to put something wet to to make something stick. You want to you want it to be dry by the time you get on there, and you want it to kind of do the whole the whole area. Okay. But you're still not going to put it down. That's right. We'll just let that let that tack up for a second. Okay. The other th option that we have for weather stripping is our peel and stick line. And this stuff's real easy to use. Probably don't even need gloves for that. No, you don't need gloves for this one. <laughs> uh, and you'll just want to make sure that you got it exactly where you want it, and just press it on. Oh, well, actually, that now that looks really easy, actually. That's real easy. But, but you don't. You probably. I mean, you don't have peel and stick for everything. That's right. We don't have peel and stick for everything. And if you're buying a, a you know, an OE style part. Uh, it probably wasn't put on with peel and that stick either. It probably was not put on with peel so, and stick. So it won't be peel and stick as well. Uh, so now we're going to stick this on. We let it tack up a little bit. It's starting to get tacky. And the last thing you want to do is put one last thin bead on one of the surfaces. It doesn't really matter. And you'll let that just like that. You won't, you won't so you're not have gonna to spread, spread that, that out. one out? No. Okay. But since it's tacky, you can put it on there. And since you're just using a little bit, you don't have that same mess oozing out the side. Yeah. Okay, so we, we got three different things stuck down. I got the peel and stick here. Wow, that's actually. Yeah, and that has a 3M adhesive on it, and it's, it's, it's great stuff. And that's a heavy block. Yeah, I think it's a three pound block. Okay, and is this, uh, this is the other one. This, and wow. that's, that's glued the right way. And it's and it and it's and it's stuck pretty quick. Yep, and this one's been sitting the whole time, and you can just see that much glue. Does it, wow! It's, it's, you know, I'm it's actually not surprised at that. No, it's not. It's, it's not helping, is it? No. <laughs> so you guys not only have all the product I need, you have all the knowledge I need too. Yeah. If you got any questions, if we don't have a video about it, if you got a question, just give us a call, and we have a great tech team. Yeah, you do. I can figure that out. That's that's steel rubber for you. <laughs> Hey, so if you want to learn anything more about how to glue weather stripping or any of the other great tech tips they've got, log on to steelrubber.com. That is amazing, man. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. That's not so amazing. <laughs> <laughs>